Uh, good morning, class, and welcome to our next uh, lecture no, and our subject, Business Finance. No, and for today's, we, we are going to discuss the time value of money. Okay. And uh, uh, from our last lecture, no, I'm able to introduce with you what is business finance. And I even show you the overview of some of the topics that you can expect uh, to learn no, from this subject. And uh, we started to, to also discuss the financial institutions, how the, the financial institutions work and function. Um, so before now we proceed with, with our next discussion, in which uh, from our last lecture, it has something to do with the financial institution, okay? The depository or non-depository and the different types of banks um, that are keeping and uh, providing us the money. Okay, uh, for our discussion today, pag-uusapan natin yung pera. Okay, pag-uusapan lang, walang hingian, na walang bigayan ng pera. But before we proceed no, with, with that discussion for today about the time value of money, uh, let's have a recap or a review of what we discussed last time. So I will show you uh, a video no, for you to watch. Uh, this is a project video from uh, business finance students from previous years. So please... Watch this. Bank of the Philippine Islands. Bank of the Oro. Metro Bank. Land Bank. City Bank. Security Bank. Sun Life Financial. Social Security System. Asia United Bank. And Bank of the Philippines. What are, the what are the differences of these financial institutions? Financial institutions are the businesses and organizations involved in the collection and distribution of money. Its function is to provide a service as intermediaries of capital and debt markets. The primary means for the cost of institutions to develop revenue, generating services including securities, underwriting, sales and trading, and prime brokerage. Now you're ready. Now you're ready. Now what is financial institution in its function? Let's proceed. Let's proceed on, on how financial system works. This is a basic diagram of financial system, 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 system for transfer resources. From lenders, from lenders or savers, savers comprised of household, household, household business firms, business firms government, government, and foreigners, foreigners who have transferred their funds to the financial market. market. Then, the financial then, market will give the lender their funds to the borrowers or spenders, like households, business firms, business government, and foreigners also. And foreigners also. This is what they call this direct finance. Call direct finance. Indirect finance, Indirect on, the finance other hand, on the other hand, from lenders, from lenders or savers, or savers like, household, like household, business firm, business government, and government and also, also, will cannot transfer their funds to the financial, the financial intermediaries, intermediaries, for example, for example brokerage. brokerage. From then, from then they will cannot transfer their funds to the financial market or, or to the borrowers borrower. and spenders, spenders also. also. The indirect, the indirect finance, finance has a financial intermediary, unlike direct finance. finance. This is how this financial, is how financial system, works. system works. From those from people those or people businesses, or businesses without, investment without investment opportunities to, to have, to have them. There are two, there types, are two of types of financial institutions, institutions the depository and, and non depository institutions. Let's Let first discuss, discuss what is the depository, what is depository, depository institution. institution. It collects it money from the depositors, the depositors and lends the, lend the money out, out to the borrowers. The depository institutions provide provide services to the economy. First, they provide they provide safe keeping services and liquidity. Second, they provide they provide the system of consisting electronic and electronic transfers. Third, they pull the money out of many savers and then it's out of the people and that is the security. 
A bucket of commercial or state commercial or state is to shunt the provides financial services. Issuing money in various Issuing forms, money in receiving deposits of money, receiving deposits lending of money, 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 lending money and processing transactions, and creating a credit. Different types of different banks. types of banks. Commercial bank. Commercial the largest type the of largest depository, type of depository institution. institution. Its functions. Good morning, sir. Good morning, welcome, sir. Commercial welcome bank. to commercial bank. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. Mm. I would like to make a deposit. Oh, sure, sir. Oh, what, sure, type sir. Of what type of deposit? We have three types, we have three types, of, types of deposits. The first one the first is the one deposit. Is the deposit. Or demand deposit. Or demand deposit. Where you can withdraw and deposit money whenever you need it. The second one is the fixed deposit. Deposit is the deposit for a defined period. The next one is the saving deposit. The deposit that can be the 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 deposit. Okay, so I think I'll go back to the video. Okay, sir, just wait for a minute. Hi, Mom, what can I do for you? Please tell me, I need some loan. We have three types of loans. The first one is the cash credit. Banks have loans to its customer on the basis of funds. Invent to invent other approaches. The second one is the demand loans. These are such loans that can be recalled on demand by the banks. The third one is short-term loan. These loans may be given as personal loans, loans to finance working capital or as priority sector at hand. Okay, okay I'll, I'll think, think about, about it. it. See, Hi, Hi, sir. Hello. I would like to request an overdraft, please. An, an overdraft, overdraft, sir. I don't bank and bank loans to its customers up to a certain amount through overdraft. Through overdraft. There are no there deposits, are no deposits in the current account. Good day. Good day. I want to know the agency function of the bank, please. Bank function in the form of agents and representatives of great customers. See you at the next investment bank. The investment bank of companies and governments and their agents to raise money by issuing and selling security to the primary market. Its functions, functions are, are Acts as intermediary between issuers and investors provide strategic financial evaluation advice for services raises capital through the, through the issuance of securities, private equity and debt, advises companies in merger and acquisition and restructuring and transaction. Provide better products and services to the corporate and government clients. Central banks are financial institutions that have the most influence over their economy since they determine the money supply and interest rates and they regulate and monitor other financial institutions, especially depository institutions. Its function. Overseas, Overseas monetary, monetary systems, systems manipulate the liquidity of the country, checking price checking stability, stability by controlling inflation, they regulate banks, banks and stabilize the nation. Currently, if unemployment provides service and economic research, they determine how much banks can loan to their customers. Did you know that the Bank of Central the Philippines is the central bank of the Philippines. It was established on July 3, 1993, pursuant to the Provision of Republic Act 7653 or the New Central Bank Act. 
Saving, saving bank, bank is a financial, is a financial institution whose primary, primary purpose is accepting saving deposits. It, it also performs some other functions. functions. Also, also called trip institutions and include saving, saving and loans. Functions. Function. Collect, Collect and keep, keep the small savings, small savings of the public. Of the public. Invest, the invest the funds in the funds government, security, government securities and offer reasonable rates of profit, of profit and, saving account. and saving account. It channels the savings, channels of, the savings, savings of individuals who wish to consume less, less than easy income to borrowers, income to who, borrowers wish to who wish more. to spend more. Mortgage Six step in mortgage process. Stage one. Stage one. Getting prepared. 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 Getting prep
Provided by the traditional foundation that allows investors to invest in money in the various financial markets by providing current market information and allowing investors to select market or leading orders to buy or sell securities through their computer systems. Ayan. <laughs> Ayan. So I hope everyone know of you are refreshed with with the uh, with that uh, review uh, video no, that we watch about the topic that we discussed from our last lecture. And I am even uh, certain no, that some of you noticed that there is a particular topic no, that we are not able to discuss no last time. Okay, sana talaga ito ng intermittent no, signal connection ko last time, no, paulit-ulit siyang nawawala, kaya I become out of focus, no, and I fail to notice that we are not able, no, to discuss yung ating financial system, okay? And uh, that is actually, no, one of the reasons why I let you, no, watch the video uh, for you to gain additional details, no, or information, okay? So, uh, let me discuss with you first the financial system, okay? Um, I'll just open my PowerPoint. Okay, so what is a financial system, okay? So um, we are done with, with our discussion about uh, the financial institutions, Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we are done with 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 our discussion about the financial institutions. No, na kung saan you learned that there are two types of financial institutions. Okay. Uh, there is the depository and non-depository, in which uh depository are accepting deposits from the savers, no, and lending money to borrowers, while the non-depository, naman, they are they are not accepting deposits, but instead. Uh, what they are accepting are premiums or contributions and lend the money out to their members or um, contributors, okay? So for today, uh, I'll just give you an idea about what is the financial system and what is the financial market, okay? So later, I'll also discuss what is financial market, okay? So the reason why I am introducing you first now with this uh, financial terminologies Kasi most of the topics that we are going to discuss in this course or in this subject, we will always encounter uh, ito mga terminologies na ito, okay? Para uh, while we are on the discussion or while we are in the progress of our discussion, you are aware or you are already aware kung ano yung mga terms na pinag-uusapan or dinidiscuss natin, okay? And you will encounter a lot of other terminologies no, in this subject. Okay, that might be helpful for you, especially in the near future if you will be in the business industry. And uh, iba pa rin talaga that, that you have this, this what we call as the financial knowledge or the, the financial uh, literacy. Okay, so going back, uh, let's talk about the financial system. Okay, so what is a financial system? 
Okay? A financial system is a system that allows uh, the exchange of funds between financial market participants such as lenders, investors, and borrowers. Okay? So when we say financial system, no, it refers to the set of institutions. No, it is both the depository and the uh, non-depository institutions no, that permit the exchange of funds or or that facilitates the yung tinatawag natin na the flow of money okay so kapag sinabi nating financial system it is the system kung saan papaano nagkakaroon ng palitan ng pera or kung papaano umiikot or nagpo-flow yung pera Okay, so for us to further understand ano ba itong financial system na ito, now let's take a look at this um, illustration. Yan. Okay, now as you can see, kaya natin ng konti, yan. As you can see, no, there are two uh, characters no, or two types of individuals that are involved in the financial system. Okay, at the left side, are the lenders or savers, okay? Itong mga lenders or savers na ito, these are the people no, that technically have the money, okay? It can be any of the ordinary individuals or households. No, it can be from any business firms or business organizations. No, it can be coming from the government agencies or government sectors or foreigners uh, that they have the money no, that they wanted to lend to others no, or to save in return of getting interest. While uh, yung nasa right side naman, they are the borrowers or spenders. Okay? Ito namang mga borrowers or or uh, lenders na ito no, are technically uh, the individuals no, that needs to borrow money or to have additional source for whatever purposes na paggagamitan nila. Okay? And it can be any of the ordinary individuals or households. It can also be uh, from any business firms or business organizations. It can be coming from the government agencies or government sectors or foreigners. Okay? Na kung saan, now if you can notice the illustration which is uh, yung colored blue, now meron tayong tinatawag na direct finance. Okay? When we say direct finance, now this happens kapag ang pera ni saver or ni depositor ay nilagay niya sa isang financial market. Okay, for it to earn an interest, okay, and doon manggagaling uh, or, or doon nanggagaling ang pera naman na pinapahiram ng financial market kay borrower with an agreement na kapag binayaran ni borrower, merong additional cost, no, which is the interest. Okay, na kung saan, if you remember from our last discussion, no, uh, I even show you the illustration on how the money flow or circulate in the depository institutions. Okay, coming from the interest na na, na makokolek ni financial market kay borrower for borrowing the money is doon ang gagaling ang interest na ibibigay niya kay depositor and from that interest din manggagaling ang kita ng financial market. Okay, so ito yung tinatawag natin na direct finance. Yan yung nasa color, yung may highlight na color blue. Okay, meron tayong uh, binabanggit na financial market. Okay, sir, ano naman itong financial market na ito? Okay, so when we say financial market, no, it refers broadly to any marketplace where the trading of financial instruments are happening. Okay, kaya ko, sinabi, kaya ko uh, nasabing broadly kasi malawak ang sakop nitong financial market na ito. Okay? So basically, kapag sinabi nating financial market, it is the marketplace no, where trading or buy and sell of financial instruments or securities ay nangyayari. Okay? Na kung saan itong financial market na ito, it has different types and it has different kinds na kung saan hindi ko na uh, i-discuss isa-isa na no, itong mga types and kinds of financial markets na ito. No, kasi once I once I do it no malulugo yung utak natin with the different financial terminologies. No, na kung saan na uh, malalayo na tayo sa subject natin. Okay, no business finance. Okay, I'm just giving you a uh, slight details no that uh that, that you would know, okay? Um if, if, but if you want to learn more about the financial market, kung ano ba yung yung financial market, what are the different types, how it works. I also uploaded a video in our uh, business finance playlist sa YouTube para if you want to learn more about the the business uh, the the financial market, no, you can just watch the video. 
Okay? Um, uh, kasi diba sir, kaya nga kami nag-transport or tourism management kasi ayaw naming mag-banking and finance, ba? Diba? So yeah, uh, once I discuss uh, kasi those different types of, and kinds of financial market, na no, mapag-uusapan na natin, um, no, mapag-uusapan na natin yung, yung, yung forex, no, yung money, stocks, and bad markets. Okay, which is uh, uh, if ever... Uh, that you will establish your own business or your own company no, or corporation, um, you can just hire an accountant and financial advisor no, with all those staff. Okay? Um, kasi yun ang pinag-aaralan nila for four years. No? And kukulangin ang is- uh, isang SEM natin if we will discuss all of that. Okay? But if you would like to know, no, yun na nga uh, uploaded ang aking uh, explanation video no, to summarize the the financial market no, if ever na magka-interest kang malaman okay now so going back with with the financial system no aside from the direct finance okay um we have this what we called as the indirect finance yan okay so ito yung illustration that we can see on the colored red area no red ba siya or pink oh, bahala na kayo Okay? Na na kung saan ang pinagkaiba naman itong pinagkaiba naman itong uh, indirect finance, no? So direct finance is that um in indirect finance, no, dumadaan siya sa tinatawag na financial intermediaries. Okay? So sir, ano naman itong financial intermediaries naman na ito? Okay? Kapag sinabi nating financial intermediaries, it is an entity, no, that acts as the middleman between the two parties in the financial system or financial transactions which is generally uh, between uh, the banks no or funds okay itong financial intermediaries na ito no these are also the combination of the depository and non depository institutions no that we discuss in our last lecture no na kung saan in the financial system uh, it's either the funds that they receive from the lenders or savers, they can enter it to the financial market for higher interest or they can also choose not to enter it um, in, the fin- uh, in the financial market and give to the borrowers no, na hindi na nila ibibenta no, sa financial markets. Okay? So that's how the financial uh, system works. Okay? So now, um, let's proceed. Ayan pala. Sorry. Uh, this is how we define the financial market. Na financial market, it is a market where buyers and sellers trade commodities, uh, financial securities, foreign exchange, and other freely exchangeable items and derivatives of value. Okay? So, and then sobrang broad and sobrang lawak nitong financial market na ito. Okay? That's why um, di na natin to kailangan i-discuss. No? So, medyo ano siya, medyo um, complicated na topic. But if you want to learn the, the parang pinaka-summary, um, uploaded ang video sa playlist natin about the financial market. Okay? Um, same with the, yeah, financial intermediaries. It is an entity that acts as a middleman between the two parties in the financial system or financial transactions, which is generally between banks or funds. Okay, so ito yung dinidiscuss natin kanina, no? Uh, na itong financial intermediaries na ito, uh, this is the combination of the depository and non-depository institutions. Okay? Na, na kung saan dun sa financial system, it's either the funds uh, that they receive from the lenders or savers, they can enter into the financial market para magkumita ng mas malaking interest or they can also... Uh, they can choose no not to enter in the financial market and directly give it to the borrowers okay <clears throat> so medyo ko lang atang aking slide so yan okay so now let's proceed now with our discussion um which is the lesson 4 in our instructional material it is the time value of money okay so, ang, ang discussion talaga natin for today is the time value of money. Okay? Um, now, so let's say for example, uh, let's say for example na dahil uh, uh, we are on our 1.6K uh, subscribers na. Now, and let's say kunwari, 
uh, dahil uh, lahat ng nanonood nitong lecture video ko na ito ay nakasubscribe or mga subscribers and you are watching my 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 other lecture video um magpapagiveaway ako kunwari ng 1000 pesos each okay kunwari, kunwari lang okay so for now <laughs> kunwari lang no but but who knows no baka before the semester ends diba okay so let's say bibigyan ko kayo ng 1000 pesos each okay but i have options for you to choose okay uh first scenario Okay. Uh, your options are bibigyan kita ng 1000 pe 1000 pesos ngayon or 1000 pesos after the end of the semester. Okay, what will you choose? Okay? So syempre, karamihan sa inyo, no, you will choose to receive uh, to receive the 1k today kasi 'di ba bakit kailangan mo pang ipagpabukas no kung pwede naman na ngayon na. Okay? Uh, bakit ka pa maghihintay ng ilang buwan kung you have the option naman na makuha na ngayon? Okay, so that's our uh, first scenario. Okay, uh, lang. check ko kung meron akong slide dyan. Ah, ito ito meron. Sige, wait lang. Ayan. Okay, yeah, ito yung first situation natin. What will you choose? No, bibigyan kita ng 1,000 today or kukunin mo yung 1,000 at the end of the semester, no? Pero normally, syempre, mas pipiliin mong makuha no, yung 1,000 today, okay? Uh, second scenario tayo, okay? For example, uh, your options are bibigyan kita ng 1,000 pesos ngayon or kung after the semester mo pa kukunin, ang ibibigay ko sa'yo ay magiging 1,200 pesos. Now, what will you choose? Okay? For this scenario, no, siguro may iba na ang option is kukunin nyo uh, yung 1K today. Ang iba naman, kasi di ba sayang rin yung, yung, yung 200. No, sige, after the semester ko na lang kukunin yung pera kasi possible. No, and, and possible hati yung decision no, ng madlang people no, sa scenario na to. No, ano ba yung pipiliin mo? Kukunin mo yung 1,000 today or mag ka na matapos ang SEM for to get the 1,200. No, sayang nga naman ang 200. Okay, for the third scenario, okay, and for the third scenario, kunwari, your options are, kung kukunin mo ang pag-giveaway ko ngayon, no, na 1,000 pesos, no, 1,000 lang ang ibibigay ko sa'yo, okay, pero kung kukunin mo after one year, 3,000 pesos ang ibibigay ko sa'yo, okay, in this situation, no, for sure, no, karamihan sa inyo, you will choose the option, no, na willing kayong maghintay ng isang taon para 3,000 ang makuha, no, which is a higher value nga naman compared sa 1K, di ba? Okay, sir, uh, siya nga nagawa kong intayin ilang taon, no, isang taon pa kaya para sa 3K, di ba? Okay, so in this scenario, no, as an example, no, tayo, uh, dito sa, sa tatlong scenario na pinakita ko sa inyo, no, tayo, we are possible to have different decisions no, in which we are considering what are the options that we are going to choose, okay? In which most of the considerations is depende sa kung ano ang mataas na value ang makukuha natin, okay? We also have to take note, check it, okay, yeah. So, um, we also have to take note no, that the value of our 1,000 pesos now or yung 1,000 pesos natin today, or yung will have a different value tomorrow, no? or will have a different value next year. Okay? Same thing with the value of your 1,000 pesos today. No? It has a, a different value from 1,000 uh, pesos last year. Okay? So kapag sinabi natin, uh, pag sinabi natin time value of money, Ayan, ito yung, yung discussion natin for today. Pag sinabi natin time value of money, no, it refers to the concept that the money you have now is worth more than the identical sum in the future due to its potential earning capacity. Okay? So basically, no, uh, sinasabi ng time value of money or yung tinatawag natin na TVM na mas malaki ang halaga ng pera ngayon 
or itinatawag natin na present value kumpara sa halaga ng pera sa hinaharap or tinatawag naman natin na future value. Okay? Yan. No? All things... Uh, being equal, no, sinasabi nito na mas magandang magkaroon ng pera ngayon no, kesa sa hinaharap na future kasi merong dalawang dahilan kung bakit nagbabago ang value ng pera. Okay? Sabi ko naman sa inyo lahat nagbabago, pati yung pera. Okay? So ito yung reasons no, uh, kung bakit nagbabago yung value ng pera natin. Okay? Na uh, Yung reason kung bakit yung 1,000 pesos ngayon ay iba na ang value ng 1,000 pesos after a year or after how many years at iba ang value ng 1,000 pesos ngayon sa so 1,000 pesos last year. Okay? So the first reason is because of the inflation. Okay? The second reason is because of the potential earning capacity of money. Okay? Pag sinabi nating um, pag sinabi nating inflation, no? It is the natural way ng pagtaas ng presyo ng mga products or services sa market or ito yung pagtaas ng presyo ng mga bilihin. Okay? So technically, ang piso ngayon ay mas konti ang nabibili comparing sa piso noon. And I always remember yung, yung kwento lagi no, ng mga matatanda no, na during their childhood days, ang 50 centavos or 1 pesos nila noon is marami nang nabibili. No? I, I remember according sa kwento nila, um, if meron silang 50 centavos no, during their, their childhood time, feeling nila ang dami na nilang pera. No? But look at now, 50 centavos is hindi na ganong napa, gaanong napapansin. Okay? Minsan pakalat-kalat na lang sila. Now, and once nagkaroon ng inflation, no, it also uh, impact no, the cost of living natin. Okay? Kapag tumaas ang inflation rate, our cost of living also gets higher as well. Okay? Dahil tumataas na ang presyo ng mga bilihin, tataas na rin ang needs natin for a higher value of money. Okay? So the other reason why the value of money changes, no, aside from the inflation, is its potential learning capacity of money. No? The potential learning capacity of money. Kapag sinabi naman natin earning potential, No, it refers to the potential of the money to gain either dividends and capital appreciation if the money is invested no as shares or stocks no or the the interest no that it can earn. Okay? Pag sinabi nating dividends, ito yung nakukuha mong kita if you are investing no uh, in an investment. Okay? Now aside from aside from this uh TBM uh in TBM rather in time value of money Uh, makikita natin na ang present value is mas mataas sa future value sa panahon ng inflation. Okay? So, meron tayong tinatawag na present value and future value. Okay? Um, in our discussion of the time value of money, now we are always looking at the value of money, either the present value and the future value. Okay, so I'm guessing that based pa lang sa name itself, no, there's no need for me to elaborate what is the difference of the present no, and future value. Okay, now and now, why do we need to know? Okay. Okay, why do we need to know or bakit kailangan nating pag-aralan yung time value of money? Okay, why do we need to know the present value? And why do we need to know the future value? Okay? Sir, hindi ba pwedeng magnegosyo mag, mag na lang tayo at huwag na nating pakialaman yung time value of money na yan? Eh, wala naman tayong magagawa dyan sa inflation na yan eh. Na hindi naman natin kayang kontrolin yan. No? You actually have the point. But you should always remember no, that in business, in sa kahit na anong negosyo, whether it is big or small, We should always consider money as an important thing, no, to consider in business. Okay, which is the main reason why we are doing the business is for us to earn money, ama, and for us to use efficiently, no, the money that we have. Okay. Hmm. Kulang 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 ako ng slide. 
Okay. So going back, no, the time value of money is a major consideration for companies, no? Kasi essentially, um, you have to compare, no, the value of the money that you have in hand right now versus the relative value of money that you are about to receive uh, or to pay out, no, in the future, no? Because yung inflation nga na nabanggit natin kanina, no, and other uh, risk factors and potential um, investment returns, no, or or loan interest that we can compute, no, in the time value of money, no, since uh, tulad nga ng sinabi natin, sinabi ko kanina that uh, the money has the potential capacity of earning, okay? Na kung saan uh, these things as an impact no, in the business decisions uh, na gagawin natin in our uh, business. Okay, now, and that's why no, pinag-aaralan natin yung time value of money here in our subject, this is finance. No? Because knowing the time value of money can help us in the area of business or in the art of managing the corporate finance. No? And businesses uh, have to be specially aware of the time value of money as it plays a large role in determining the, the yung decisions no? na gagawin ng isang business. If that decisions will be profitable for the business or not. Okay? So this time value of money, no, it is one of the most important concepts na ginagamit not only in business but also in economics and investing. Now, and for individual naman, uh, you uh, knowing the this concept will help you to determine how much you save and how much you spend. Okay? Siguro on the problem solving activities of time value of money na ipapagawa ko sa inyo, I will give uh, situations na it, it's more on how we can use uh, the time value no, of money for our personal uh, money concerns para we can also apply it in real life. Okay? Kasi basically, no, the time value of money, um, it is a useful tool in helping you understand the worth of money in relation to time. Okay? And when it comes to business and investments, um, ito yung principle no, na kadalasang ginagamit. Um, ito yung kad- uh, principle na kadalasang ginagamit ng mga, uh, ng mga investors no, for them to uh, better understand the value of money as it compares to its value in the future. Okay? And ang pinaka-basic principle uh, that, that this time of of money wanted to teach us is that money, yung money na meron tayo ngayon is worth more than in the future. Okay? And it is because y- yung sinabing natin kanina, no, that the money that we have now has the potential to earn uh, and also uh, because of the inflation, kaya siya possible na magbago. Okay? And kung iisipin natin mabuti, no, let's say yung, yung 1,000 pesos noong at uh, 2010, no, marami tayong mabibili that time compared sa mabibili ng ng 1000 pesos natin this 2020. Okay? And theoretically, no, yung yung 1000 pesos natin ngayon ay mas maraming mabibili kaysa sa nabibili ng 1000 pesos, let's say 5 years from now. Okay? Then baka who knows, uh, yung pinakamababang value na siguro ng paper bill uh, natin 5 years from now is baka yung 100 uh, pesos uh, bills na, di ba? Kasi naalala ko tuloy, um, uh, naabutan ko pa yung 5 pesos na paper bill, no? color green yun. Uh, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, si Emilio Aguinaldo, no? yung nandun uh, sa 5 pesos paper bill. No? And meron pa palang color brown, no? yung, yung 10 pesos na paper bill. Si ano naman yun, si dalawa sila, I don't remember. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, ang isa doon si Apolinario Mabini, no? Shucks, ang tagal na pala na napaghahala tayong edad natin. Anyways, no, uh, mukhang magkakabistuhan tayo ng edad dito. Yun na nga. So what I'm saying is, uh, naabutan ko yung, naabutan ko yung, ano, naabutan ko yung time na yung pinakamababang uh, paper bill that time is yung 5 pesos na color green and yung 10 pesos na ano, 10 pesos na, na color brown bill, no? Uh, so what I'm trying to say here is, ano eh, parang during that time mataas yung yung pressure ng ng bill na yon pero ngayon barya na lang no so uh, what more pa kaya 5 years from now baka yung yung pinakamababang paper bill natin is yung 100 na no kasi di ba yung 20 pesos natin ngayon is magiging coins na din 
Okay? So, yun. Um, okay? Now, and anyways, now, moving forward, no, I'm just saying you an example na um, sa time value of money, it, dito sa time value of money, uh, we also need to learn no, the formula that can help us to determine the present value of the money na meron tayo ngayon and how much it could be worth in the future. Okay? And when it comes to uh, to business and investment, no, uh, importante itong time value of money because it allows uh, the business owners or the investors to make a more informed decision no, about uh, what to do with, with their money. Okay, and this uh, time value of money can help the investors or can help you understand which option may be the best based on an interest, no? based on inflation, based on the risk and return. Okay, and the time value of money can also be used um, to help us understand uh, kung magkano ba ang kailangan nating isave in an account now if we have a certain goal in mind, no? Let's say, uh, 500, you, you, five, five, 50,000 pesos in five years. Uh, let's say we have, uh, we have a goal now. We, we need to have a 50,000 pesos in five years, no? Um, if the account earns 3% compound interest it's each year, no? And I will teach you the, the formula on how we can, uh, compute that. Okay, so, okay, what are the components no, that we need to compute for getting the time value of money? Okay, now, so as you can see, uh, yeah, okay, so as you can see, these are the components that we need to compute no, for us to get the time value of money. Okay, so we have the, the FB or the, the future value, we have the PB or the present value, the I or R, the interest rate or rate of growth, the N, number of compounding periods of interest per years. Yan kapag sinabi natin compounding, it is the span of time between um, uh, when interest should be compounded. Okay? Kun kunwari, weekly, monthly, or annually, no? and so on and so forth. And this compounding naman it, uh, na ito is depende kung given siya sa problem that we are trying to solve. Kung given siya, uh, we also need to include the compounding of interest. Okay? The T or the number of years. Okay? So once again, in time value of money, what are we, what we are trying to get or to compute is either the present value or the future value. Okay? Ayan. So, uh, for us to better understand no, the concept of time value, let's discuss first yung present value. Okay? Um, present value states that an amount of money today is worth more than the same amount in the future. Uh, shows that money received in the future is not worth as much as an equal amount received today. And spent money today could lose value in the future by an implied annual rate due to inflation or the rate of return if the money was invested. Calculating the present value involves assuming that a rate of return could be earned on the funds over the period. Okay? So itong present value na ito, now this states that the amount of money today is worth more than the same amount in the future. Now in other words, uh, the present value uh, no, shows that money received in the future is not worth as much as an equal amount na marireceive natin today. Na in which unspent money today could lose value in the future by an implied annual rate due to the inflation or due to the rate of return if the money no, was not invested. In this statement, I am not directly saying na dahil unspent money today no, could lose value is yung savings na meron kayo ngayon is ipang cash out nyo na lahat sa Shopee. No, hindi naman ganon. Now, what I'm saying uh, with with, with uh, that statement or with this statement is better if the money that we have now no, will be invested. Kasi calculating the present value involves assuming that a rate of return could be earned no, on the funds over the 
period. Okay? In the simplest term of explanation, no, kapag sinabi nating present value, it refers or it answers the question, how much must be invested today no, to produce a certain amount in the future? No, magkano ba ang kailangan mong invest today for you to get this amount in the future? Okay? In the process of computing the present value, we called it as yan, discounting. Okay? Discounting is the process of determining the present value of a payment that is to be received in the future. Okay? So once again, the process of computing the present value, tinatawag natin siya na discounting. Okay? And to compute for the present value, here is our formula na ginagamit. Okay? So this is our present value formula. Ayan. So uh, to get the present value, we have to get to know the future value over 1 plus rate, then multiply by the time. Okay? So let's have an example. Okay? Let's have an example. Ayan. Yeah, kunwari, kunwari, two years from now, no, after you graduate or after the end of the, the pandemic crisis, no, let's say you are planning to visit Korea, okay? And you need 50,000 pesos for a five-day vacation, okay? The question is how much you must save now in your bank account if the interest rate is 3% per annum or per year. Okay, now so using the the formula, check ko meron na computation date. Ayan. Okay, so we have to 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 use this formula, of course, uh, in in our example problem. Okay, so using the formula, no, to get the present value, magkano ba ang kailangan natin ngayon para ma maipon natin yung fifty thousand na kailangan natin two years from now. Okay, so using the formula to get the present value, no, yung future value natin in our problem is 50,000, okay, over 1 plus the interest rate which is 3%. 3% ba tama ba? And 3%, okay, over 1 plus the interest rate of 3%, so we will write it down as decimal, so the... Uh, the decimal form for the 3% is 0 0.03, okay? So we will convert the percentage to decimal, okay? So 1 plus 0 0.03 no, is equals to 1.03. Ayan, ito nakikita natin. Patang ko lang cursor ko. Ayan. Okay, so ito. Ayan. Okay, so 1 plus 0 0.03 no, is equals to 1.03. Now, and since time period natin is for 2 years, now we will replace uh, the, the T. Yung ito, replace natin uh, sa formula itong T na to with number 2, no, representing 2 years. So what we have now is 50. Now, what we have now is 50,000, our future value, over 1.03 raised to 2, to 2 years. Okay, if you have a scientific calculator, no, pwede nyo na siyang idiretso. No, kung wala naman, uh, kung manual calculation, uh, we should get first the 1.03 squared. No, so meron tayong 1.0609. Then to continue with the formula, uh, 50,000 over 1.609 is 47,129.80. Okay? So, yeah, so this is our present value. This is what we need to save now to have a total of 50,000 uh, pesos after two years with three percent annual interest. Now, so let's say for example, itutuloy natin yung plano natin na pupunta tayong Korea after 2 years. Kaya lang, pagpunta mo ng Korea, kailangan mo ng 50,000. Magkano ang kailangan mong i-save today para at the after 2 years na with an interest of 3%, meron kang 50,000. Okay? So, let's have 
another example. Okay. Yan. So let's say kung ang inflation rate is 5% per year. Okay. Let's say ang 100,000 pesos mo, 3 years from now is anong value ngayon? Okay. So once again, kunwari meron tayong inflation rate na 5% per year. Let's say yung 100,000 pesos mo 3 years from now is anong value niya ngayon? Ano ang value ngayon ng 100,000 pesos mo 3 years from now? Okay? So let's compute for the present value okay, of the 100,000 pesos 3 years from now. Okay? Then pa rin using the formula. Okay? So using the formula, we want to know the present value from the future value of 1,000 pesos over 1. Okay, uh, default talaga yung 1 plus the percentage, 5%. So we will con convert it to decimal. 5% is 0 0.05. Okay? Raise to 3 years or 1.0. Pag in natin to 1.05 cube, no, is equals to... 1.157625, okay? So, 100,000 over 1.157625 is equals to 86,383.76, no? So, imagine because of the imagine because of the inflation rate of 5% per year, okay, 3 years, uh, after 3 years, yung halaga ng 86,383 mo ngayon will be worth 100,000 in the future no so um ito yung ito yung nagiging epekto ng tinatawag natin ng inflation rate no sa so value ng pera na imagine let's say for example meron kang uh, meron kang ano meron kang eight, uh, 86,383 ngayon okay after 5 years itong halaga na to ay kasing halaga siya ng 100,000 ngayon okay kasing halaga ng 86,000 383.76 ang 100,000 after uh, 5 years. No? So, ibig sabihin, uh, mas malaki ang value okay? uh, uh, in the future. Okay? So, now let's have, uh, so that's how we compute no, for the, the present value. Now, let's proceed with the future value. Okay? The future value is the value of a current asset at a future date based on an assumed rate of growth. Okay? Itong future value naman na ito, no, it is important to investors and financial planners as they use it to estimate how much an investment made today no, will be worth in the future. Okay? And para sa mga businessmen and investors knowing the future value, no, it will enable them to make sound investment decisions no, based on their anticipated needs. Kasi parang uh, calculating the future value no, will allow the, the investors to, to predict. No, of course, with, with varying uh, degrees of accuracy, uh, they can predict the amount of profit that can be generated by their different investments. Okay? Kasi technically, uh, the, amount of, uh, the, the amount of growth generated by holding a given amount in cash no, will likely be different than um, if that same amount were invested in stocks. Okay, So this future value calculation is used to compare multiple options no, for the growth of money. Okay, um, It is said that the, the future value calculation no, can be challenging because of the market's uh, volatility na tinatawag. Okay, pag sinabi nating uh, volatility, uh, V O L A T I L I T Y, no, minsan parang parang mood lang to ni Jowa, no? Uh, volatility meaning the liability to change rapidly, no, and unpredictable. No, and the reason uh, for this is because in computing uh, for the future value, it is only based on the assumption of a stable great growth. Uh, growth rate, sorry, based on the assumption of a stable growth rate, no? Na kung, uh, na kung saan the money is placed in a savings account, uh, there's no need to assume, lalo na kung guaranteed ang interest rate. And then the future value is easy to determine accurately, okay? 
And kung ang process naman uh, of computing the present value is tinatawag natin na discounting, no kanina, sabi natin, kung ang process of computing the present value is tinatawag natin na discounting, okay? The process naman of computing for the future value is tinatawag natin na compounding. Okay? This is the process of determining the future value of an asset due to the interest earned on both principal and accumulated interest. Okay? And uh, because there are two ways of calculating, now there are two ways of uh, calculating the future value when it is using yung tinatawag natin na simple interest and compound interest. Okay? And we will have a separate discussion now for the simple and compound interest. Okay? So the future value calculation can be done. Okay? The future uh, value calculation can be done one of uh, two ways, no, depending on the type of interest being earned, no. So, merong dalawang paraan kung paano natin i-compute or ma makakalculate ang future value, depende kung ano ang interest na, uh, depending on the type of interest, no, being, uh, being earned uh, by the money, okay. So, if you will enter an investment, it depends upon dun sa investment bank. Uh, let's say, for example, you uh, you choose to to enter in an investment. Okay, it will depend. <coughs> no, 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 sorry, it depend upon don sa investment bank or investment company or your arrangement. No, kung ang interest ba for your money is simple or compound interest. Okay, if an investment earns simple interest, okay, then the future value formula is. Okay, so for example, uh, your interest is simple interest. No, so here is the uh, the the formula. No, na ginagamit natin. F B equals I or investment amount times one plus R or the interest rate times T. No, or the number of years. Okay, and following the proper way of, of computation, no, kapag may mga parentheses, kapag may mga ganitong parentheses, no, following the proper way, uh, yun munang, eto muna yung uunahin natin. Yan, yung mga nasa parentheses muna yung inuuna. Okay, so yan, FB where I is the investment amount, R is the interest rate, T is the number of years. Okay, so let's have an example. Okay, yan, let's assume that we have 1,000 pesos investment that will be held for five years in a savings account with 10% simple interest, okay? What is the future value, okay? In this example, what we are trying to find is the future value or after five years, magkano na ang magiging value ng 1,000 pesos, no? that we will invest in a savings account with a 10% simple interest paid, okay? So using the formula for simple interest of uh, future value, okay? So this is our formula. Okay, so 1,000 peso, 1, pesos, that is our present value, times 1 plus 10% interest, okay? Convert to decimal, it's 0 0.10. Okay, times five, no, for years. Okay, so one plus, ito tayo, ito muna tayo. Okay, 10% um, times five, so we have 0 0.5. One plus 0 0.5, so we have 1,000, the, the present value times 1.5, so we have 1,500, okay? So, uh, the future value, yung future value ng ating investment ngayon, i-invest ngayon na 1,000 pesos no, with 10% interest after 5 years ay magiging siyang 500 pesos, no? This is just an example. Siyempre, kapag the mas mababa, yung yung uh, yung uh, let's say for example ang 1000 ng ating ininvest na no, with 
500 possible, malili- maliliitan kayo na bakit 500 lang ang kinita na after 5 years. Pero kapag mas malaking pera, syempre, mas malaki ang panggagalingan ng 5%, mas mataas. Okay? So, yon. Yon. Dito naman tayo sa compounded. Okay? Okay, pag sinabi nating compounded, no, using the using our same example, papaano kung ang investment natin is compounded every year, no, na kung saan uh, yung interest na idadagdag sa pera is pinapatungan yearly. Okay? So the formula for the future value uh, of an investment earning compounded interest is ayan. Same FB equals I or investment amount times 1 plus R, or the interest rate, raised to T, or the number of years. Okay? So if you would notice, ang pinagkaiba lang niya sa simple interest is the way how we treat the interest rate in the number of years. Okay? The, uh, pinagkaiba lang ng, ng simple and compound interest, if you notice, is the way how we treat the number of years. Okay. So, now using the using the same example, now let's assume that we have um, 1000 pesos investment that will held for that will be held for 5 years in a savings account with 10% compounding interest. Okay? Okay. Ah, ito pala siya, sorry. Ayun, saan sana ako pupunta? Okay, now so we will have, we have a 1,000 pesos, okay, times 1 plus 10% raised to 5, no? Um, yeah, 1.10 raised to 5 plus 1, so we have 1.10 raised to 5, okay? So 1,000 uh, 1.10 raised to 5 is 1.61051. So 1,000 times 1.61051, we have a total of 1,610.51. Okay? So that's how we compute for the future value compounding interest. No? Gagawin natin, isusundan lang natin yung formula and we will be able to easily compute it. No? Basta we can identify kung alin yung, yung interest alin yung investment, alin yung number of years, we can easily compute for the present and future value. Value. Okay? So, that's how we compute for the simple and compound future value. No? And meron din tayong tinatawag na annuity. Oh my God. Last slide na pala to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, meron din tayong tinatawag na... Wait lang. Ayan. Okay, so that's how we compute no for the uh, the simple and compound future value. Then meron tayong tinatawag na annuity. Okay, pag sinabi na, naman nating annuity, no, this will be usually in an investment contracts uh, issued by the uh, financial institutions, no, like the insurance, uh, insurance companies, and banks, no, mga banko. And when when you purchase an annuity, okay, you invest your money in a lump sum or gradually during an, yung tinatawag natin na accumul- accumulation period. Okay? Kapag sinabi natin lump sum, no, ito yung 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 isahang bigay ng payment instead of paying it on installments. Okay? Accumulation period naman is parang it is the scheduled payment um to an investment made uh, regularly, no? Or premium sa insurance product na kunwari you avail in an insurance, let's say for example with Sun Life or with ProLife UK, parang ganon. No? So it is intended uh, to use for insurance and retirement purposes. And medyo complicated and mahaba ang formula niya, no? So dun lang muna tayo sa basic, okay? Since hindi naman tayo finance major, okay? So dun muna tayo sa simple and compound, 
Okay? So, sa susunod na chapter, uh, kung na lang kayo pahihirapan sa mga computations, okay? So, that's how we compute for the time value of money, okay? For us to identify the future value or the present value of um, money, no? Um... Ayan, wala na pala. Last slide na pala talaga yun. Okay. So, yeah, that's how we uh, we compute for the, the present and future value. Okay. And for us to identify no, the future or the present value, we have that formula no, that we are going to use. No? Susundan na lang natin yung formula na yun, no? And how can we um, apply no, the knowledge about the time value of money for our personal or daily use? Okay, let's say for example, uh, let's say for example, you win a large amount of money, no? Let's say nanalo ka sa Wawa win, no? Or Showtime or sa Itbulaga, no? And let's say uh, you're given the option no, to choose um, in receiving it now or receiving it a year after, okay? It's either you can take the lump sum of money now or wait a year to collect it, okay? Which will you choose, Okay, most probably, no, or most of us, no, would prefer to get the money now. It is because possible, uh, it's either we have the needs, no, that the money can fulfill immediately. No, meron tayo mga bills that we need to pay, or we have wants and needs, no, that can be, uh, that can be uh, realized, no. And after itong, after itong discussion natin, I'm hoping that uh, you now understand, no, that the one peso, that we have today is worth more than the one peso tomorrow or a one pesos a year from now, okay? That is the essence of the time value of money concept, okay? This time value of money concept is useful uh, for installment loans, no? Especially, uh, let's say, naingan nyo kayo to apply for loans, no? Or let's say, sa home credit, no? Or something like that, okay? Um, or if you ever... Uh, if ever uh, if ever you decide to to invest no in stock market no, or something like that no because uh, you know what at your age right now no, you can actually start to invest okay for a minimum of 1000 pesos you can actually start to be an investor of Jollibee no, you can be a part-time owner of Jollibee BDO or other companies no, that are open for public offering Okay, and um, if ever uh, you decide, no, at least now, no, you can now be proficient with with those concepts to calculate the value of your money. Okay, and itong uh, time value of money na to that we are discussing is a fundamental concept uh, to understand, no, when trying to decide between two or more uh, financial options, no, and. Uh, Will it make sense to spend the money that you have now, or should you save and collect it late for a later, uh, later date? Okay, of course. Now the answer will depend on a number of factors, no, uh, specific to your uh, personal situation. Now, and regardless of what option you choose, no, knowledge of the time value of money helps you understand how much is at stake okay so that is um the the, the time value of money no so parang uh, based on our example or based on our um illustrations kanina no yung 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 1000 pesos natin ngayon after a year uh 1000 pesos pa rin siya pero iba na yung halaga niya same with yung 1000 pesos natin ngayon same na 1000 pesos pa rin na bill uh, a year from now Pero iba, iba yung halaga niya. So, nagbabago yung halaga. No, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito sa time value of money is yung halaga. No, nagbabago ang halaga ng pera. Okay? So, that's, that's our discussion for today. So, thank you for watching. And uh, same protocol tayo. Uh, for me to identify uh, kung sino ang nanood ng lecture ko, please uh, comment down your last name and your takeaway from this discussion. Okay? So, ilang Thank you.